Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the first ever Sharks TV live stream as the visitors the seamen, the Sheffield Steel Dogs take to the ice. I have the pleasure of joining me on commentary tonight by recently retired, can't stay away for long, it's Solway <laughs> Sharks number 19, Richard Bentham. Richard, welcome along. Thank you very much Owen, I'm excited to be here mate. This is, this is a big one, it's the start of something kind yeah. of new for the Sharks and yeah, there's excitement in the building. It's filling up quite nicely for being pre-season and an hour earlier than what we'd normally have as well. 100%. Um, so it's good to see the Steel Dogs have just took to the ice and quite an unusual colour that you would, wouldn't expect from the Steel Dogs. White yeah, and orange, more well, a Sheffield Steelers. But I was just about to say, I think that's obviously something to do with the Steelers. Yeah, with their kind of partnership. So running yeah. through the teams quickly before the Sharks join us on the ice for... The Steel Dogs tonight, icing in number six is Ben Morgan, 31 is Daniel Crow, four is Lewis Bell, number 90 is Lewis, there's Jonathan Kirk, 73 is Matt Bissonette, 81 is Charlie Thompson, eight is Thomas Dermott, 20 is former GB gold medal winning captain Jonathan Phillips as the Sharks join us on the ice, it's getting loud in here. Number 19, Cameron Brownlee, 34 is netminder Dimitri Zamodra, 42 is Tim Smith, 26 is Tom Palmer, 71 is Jake Bramer, 56 is Lee Haywood, 13 is Vlad Volkanov, 5 is Bradley Doxley, 14 James Spore, 23 Michael Dineko, 20, uh, 75 sorry, Ben Cutts, 98 Tate Shudra and 22 Ollie Turner as the Sharks are welcomed onto the ice one by one. got to say Owen it's got a different feel to it tonight this it has it's, it's very professional it's very well put on this is the best show in town I think oh by, without doubt I and think the, even just walking in you could I don't think there was many people really talking I think people were more just not knowing what the blooming net to expect from this next 60 minutes but yeah. that's what you want and hopefully that's they it. can put a show on air and get the ball rolling that's it get the excitement in the town after all, the Solway Sharks are the most successful sports team in the southwest of Scotland. Just as we're introducing our Solway team, I've just got to say that that Sheffield team is still very, very good. I mean, yeah. there's some boys on that team who I played with for a lot of my career, and some are even older than me. Yeah, and of course, we're the number 20, Jonathan Phillips. Yeah. He's took GB to the top pool twice as a gold medal winning captain. What's the crap there Owen? Is he, is he staying with him or is he just yeah, helping no, out? He's, he's there for the season I think. He's retired as a professional uh, um, okay. from the Elite League but I think he's there for the season and that is a massive addition to any lineup. 100%. Whether it's at this level or the Elite League because he could probably walk into many Elite teams just oh, with his, you know, his, his past and his, his experience he brings. Be interesting to see how he's see if he can be bothered or not, I know that well, sounds bad to say, but yeah. we'll see, we'll see. That's it, as the Sharks are all on the ice now, we will run through their team for you quickly. Number five is Olivier Arsenal, number six is Stuart Kerr, nine is Barry McKenzie, assistant captain, ten is Liam Stanton, also assistant captain, twelve is Kel Beatty, fourteen is Lewis Young, fifteen is Kieran Hare, sixteen Lewis Houston, who actually misses out tonight. Um, for the Sharks, number 22, John Dunbar, 25 is Connor Henderson, 26 is Callum McGill, 30 is Callum Hepburn, who gets the start in net for the Sharks tonight, 34 is Curtis Warburton, 51 is Struan Toner, 53, Keen Shevlin, 68, Callum Boyd will pause for the National Anthem. And a minute's applause for the late Alan, um, Alex Graham.
fantastically observed man it's applause to a fantastic ice hockey talent some unfortunately player, taken too soon player, over man. the summer Looking forward to seeing this Sheffield goalie as well. I mean, people will know that we've just had a recent. To see him getting the nod over Dimitri, I mean, I know it's a pre season game, but. Yeah, it's very true. Dimitri, who's been at Sheffield since he's about three years old, I think, he's, he's played there as long as I've known and yeah. a really good talent. But I suppose part of pre season is given both goalies and each team a chance I imagine Curtis gets a shout tomorrow or yeah. do, do, how as a, as a pass player how would you kind of see it from a goalie's perspective to you to be perfectly honest with you I think I'd be is it does the league start next week next the week's week pre-season again next week alright fair enough then yeah I'd probably yeah G give the guys say, a shout this week and then yeah, another goalie yeah, plays yeah. all the next weekend type thing, keep them hot Dimitri's a good goalie so obviously you want to see, you want him to have some minutes before the season starts but should be good. This is going to be a test for Solway. Yeah, it is. It is. Welcome him and, and Leeds next week as well. Yeah. Martin did touch on um, what he tested himself against the best in the league yeah. with his interview with Andy that went up on YouTube um, last night. So, yeah, a couple of tests. But do you know what? It's, it's probably best for the team as well. It would be easy to invite a team from the league that just came out that now the Sharks are streets above. Yeah. Um, and you know it, it could have been easy to go and steamroller them 15, 20 goals past them but no what good. do you learn from it? You don't learn anything mate you do not learn anything this this, I couldn't think of probably looking at that Sheffield team now I, I don't think there could have been a better pre-season game for them than this yeah, there'll be some body put on in this game as well let me tell you yeah we are ready to start starting line up for the Solway Sharks it's John Dunbar it's Craig Peacock Kerr and Stenton at the back and we are off as the Steel Dogs pick it up but they have to stop up offside and the Sharks will come out in their own defensive zone through Any Liam goals? Stenton good job Liam Stenton dumps it in that will be picked up at the back by the Steel Dogs looks around the boards finds Volkanovs but again sends it round the boards towards Phillips Ison is waved off Stenton will just flick it further round towards Boyd gets tied up and Stenton picks it up again go Boydie let's go let's go tied up in front of both benches and it's go played on, round Boyd they'll put in the fight go. on a lot of speed there from Callum That's Boyd he gets tied up nice defensive work by I think it is um, Morgan oh, no. at the back yeah it does well oh. clears it just dumps it into the hole both teams head off for a change as Beatty will flash it in across the zone Scott Henderson will go after it backed up there by Nolan Gardiner Scott Henderson has it Gardner helps I think you'll out. see already on the difference in this league is you just don't get that time. Shot on net by Henderson, tight angle paddled away by the netminder. Kel Beatty takes a hit and loses his helmet, but it's the Steel Dogs that come forward through Smith. Fired on net off a Hepburn shoulder, high into the net and behind. Absolutely, Richard, the, the speed mm -hmm. of this game so far, minute and not even a minute and a half in, and it is flying. That first pass has to be perfect, or as you're, you're hemmed your own end for another minute. Yeah, absolutely. The the speed and the experience of some of these players showing very early doors. I what forgot here then? Scotty, Barry, Scotty, one yes. of the imports, new import. Um, Miguel's on this side, yeah. We're looking forward to seeing these two, these three imports. Yeah, Dunbar, of course, comes with a wealth wealth of elite league experience as yeah. the Steel Steel Dogs have it in the Sharks defensive zone. It's up to the point. There's a wee late hit there from Gardiner. Just nudges his man, lets him know he's in a game. Toner will come through. Mr. Mr. Solway Sharks himself as the Sharks come forward through Miguel. Miguel finds Gardner. Gardner fires low. Good save. The goalie Ooh. didn't know much about it. He had to squeeze the catcher hard to his body 
Nearly Done enough to that. keep it out, yeah. He wasn't sure himself. He did have a glance behind him, but he has stopped it. Come on then, Peanut. Come on, Kieran. This is a line I want to yeah, see. Come that, on, the this boys. Is la one of last year's lines. Lewis, Ross and Kieran there. Struan, Miguel. Yeah, Miguel. Come on, the boys. Miguel from here, but he's as Canadian as maple syrup. <laughs> Come on. I'll do that one again in the face-off circle. I'm hoping Lewis has a good year this year. I mean, you'll know Lewis as well as I do, and he's put some effort in on this off-season. He's lost a few pounds, not oh, that he's, he's looking very not that well. Not he was a big boy anyway, but... Yeah, he's looking very well as the Steel Dogs just dump it the length of the ice. It's yeah. called for ice, and Miguel gets there first. And the navy blue of the Solway Sharks. A bit, a bit of something different as well for the Sharks. I like it. Had us to the the yeah. navy blue at home normally for many a year for the Sharks. It's been light white jerseys at home and dark on the road and um, changing it round. I don't know whether that's a league that sort true. of requirement that throughout or, or what it is, but the Sharks in their navy blue at home looking really nice. Aye, that looks stunning, that kit. Looks absolutely class, especially with the gloves, the helmets, the shorts. Yeah, everything matching a very professional The boys deserve setup. it though, like. As Sharks win the everything. face off and it's flashed on net from the point by it, Liam Stenner. There you go. Again, another boy coming back into the Sharks. Seems the Sharks will have it. Peacock oh. fires over, just over the crossbar. It'll go the length of the ice. Sharks will have to walk back and Stuart Kerr picks it up, finds his defensive partner this in Liam side. Stenton. This side. Uh. Just loses out to Stenton, but he does well to tie it up. Lots of sticks and bodies, and the Sharks come away. Peacock finds Kerr, looks for Boyd. Dice is waved off, and Boyd gets it at first, dumps it in front, puts it in a good area, but no blue jerseys there. The Sharks still have it, though. Shoot it. Boyd, he has it, looks for the shot, finds Peacock. Peacock finds Stenton. Stenton skates in the zone. It's Oof. tipped in front by Boyd, and the goalie will hold on. So the Sharks looking very bright in the opening few minutes of this game. Yeah, looking really good. I think they've got a good little mix of these lines going already. They have an interest in see Callum Boyd, um, whether he's just sitting into where Mason will play, of course, Mason Alderson. Where is Mason? He is with Belfast is on he? Champions League duty tonight, yeah. Fair play, good um, luck, Mason. Speaking, speaking with um, Jamie before the game, Jamie Thompson, Sharks assistant coach, he says that Belfast are already carrying a few injuries with Kel Beattie from the blue, fire just wide of the post. How come... Um, Ross Connolly's not icing. Uh, Ross Connolly is injured, so is he is. It? Yeah, and Lewis Houston misses out tonight as well. So the Sharks dump in and Gardner will chase, puts Morgan under pressure and puts the body on. Sharks pick up at the point through Arsenal. Arsenal makes a move, kind of gets tied up. Mm. Just dumps it round the boards. Phillips has it for the Steel Dogs. Good play there, just puts the body in. Go on, Kel, get over. And Kel has it for the Solway Sharks. Yeah. Dumps oh, it in straight into it. Yeah, yeah, that's... Not his intention, but it's caught one of the Steel Dogs players there. High up, he's doubled over as he heads to the bench. Right in the rib cage. Yeah, quite a nasty one. That's Tim Feel, Smith. That yeah. is a tough, he's a tough boy, he'll be all right. Feeling that one, the gloves off straight away, whether it caught him in the hand. Oh, it was the hand. Yeah, I think his glove came off and he's kind of skating about looking at his hand. Hopefully nothing too serious for him as the Sharks will have the face off inside the zone. Lewis Young will centre up young Kyle Carruth. And Connor Henderson, Aye, Miguel come and on Toner. Boys. Once again, another good young Scottish line. Carruth, a fantastic prospect for the Solway Sharks. It certainly one, is. It's one by Palmer for the Steel Dogs. It's put under pressure, and the Sharks will pick it up and neutralise Middle. through the captain. Yeah, Toner does well. Nice touch Goal by Lewis. Lewis Young. Good job. Dumps it in. Dumps it actually onto the Steel Dogs bench. So we'll have a face off again and neutralise. Big season, I think, this one for, for young Kyle Kiruth. Yeah, um, I think the talent's there. Kyle's a good kid. Went I think away he'll, um, I've, I've got every faith in him. I think he'll get his chance and he'll he'll take it with both hands. I'm sure he have got a great family behind him and that. So. Yeah, went away and got good experience up at Edinburgh in the SNL last year as the Steel Dogs come forward by Snet, fires it off the legs of Miguel and wide. But he'll pick it up behind Hepburn's net. Miguel does well, puts a hit on. Toner picks it up for the Sharks. Skates round, finds Connor Henderson. Good wee combination between Connor Henderson and Lewis Young. But the Steel Dogs still have it. Miguel again puts the body in. Plays it round the boards, so but it's kept in. Not quite, not quite kept in the zone. We'll have a face off just offside. Yeah, Kyle Cruz played his trade. Took his time, got good experience up at Edinburgh and a big year for him between the Solway Sharks and 
I believe he will ice with the Witness Wild as well at yeah. North One level. I um, seen he played from the other day, and I think he got four two assists and a goal. Yeah, I four think he assists got two and a goal, goals. Um, and a goal in the shootout certainly as well. Yeah, done done very well down there. With well, I think he got three actually. I think he scored. Yeah, he did. He scored, including the shootout goal. He got three. Done very well. So he then just proved that you know even at that level, he's he's a class above now and deserves this opportunity as the Steel Dogs come That's forward. Offside. Not quite. Certainly not called, and Hepburn deflects high over into the netting behind his goals. I think it didn't help that, that Connor on the line kind of got tied up with the players making the hit as well, so yeah. he's kind of knocked off with that and didn't see whether it was I think on the, or off. I think the line all got caught up in it as well and couldn't really see. Craig Peacock in the face off circle for the Sharks does well to win it, but it's the Steel Dogs will pick it up through Phillips, tied up by Stanton. He's still with Volkanovs now, rounds the net. Looks for his man at the point, Morgan. Big shot from Morgan, it comes off a of bodies, it's tied up in front. Sharks do just about enough, and Hepburn holds on there. Just kind of a few bodies Good losing save, the puck Callum. in the, the, the crowd there, but Hepburn kept his eye on it, done well to keep yeah, a hold. Yeah, that's what Callum needs, he needs a few of those just to get his feet in, and then. I'm hoping Callum has a great year this year. The lad deserves it more than anything. Yeah, and of course Curtis Warburton as well coming in, a, yeah. a former um, former Steel Dog himself and yeah. Sheffield Steeler, Sheffield boy. Um, two, two very good netminders um, and I'm sure both guys will push each other for the number one shot as it, as it is um, throughout the season. We'll have a whistle for, I think, a hand pass. Morgan Elliott calling it from the middle of the ice and I'll go the length. I think Chris Warburton will be itching to get on the ice, especially against these. Yeah, Curtis, I'm sure we'd love a game Curtis, against his old team, yeah. Maybe maybe he gets a game tomorrow and he's I suppose it's his home barn down at Ice Sheffield tomorrow as well. Mackenzie wins the face-off for the Sharks. Kel Beatty skates back to his own zone, picks it up, skates behind Hepburn's net. Not too much, Kyle. Not Beattie too much. Not too it. much. Good yeah, job. Finds Scott Henderson. Still in their own zone, the Sharks, but they'll play it round the boards. Gardner's going to have to work hard there. Sharks do well. Arsenal does well to tie up his man, and he comes forward out his D zone. Finds a hard pass. Great pass. Good control. Fired on there. Catch a save from Gardner with a shot for the Sharks. He's got a cannon, that kid. He has. And of course, Sharks this season running with three imports, as is allowed in the league. Everybody, I think, in British hockey knows about John Dunbar and what he has done in the Elite League with Glasgow and Guildford and the likes. But I suppose the two other guys coming in, both play together in the U Sports League in Canada, don't really know much about them. No. Not a league you kind of hear much about or see much about, but certainly produce some cracking import players um, at this level who quite often step up to the Elite League as the Sharks have it in their own defensive Go. zone Nolan Gardner through neutralised gains the zone pretty quickly fires big kick save Scott Henderson can't quite control finds Arthur at the point finds Kel Beatty Beatty fires uh, on net comes off Kel. the stick unlucky. of Doxy and nothing worse than that you beat the body and it gets a little grip on their stick there's nothing you don't deserve that as a D man and the Steel Dogs have it just set up a play behind their own net let's go hit hit Murray ties up his man but it's the Steel Dogs will come away with it but it'll be picked up by Kel Beatty oh. finds can't quite find the tape of Lewis Young and the Steel Dogs gain the zone it's dumped in number 23 for the Steel Dogs will go after that one Dineko shot on net Hepburn paddles it away and it's picked up by Beatty who finds Ross Murray Ross Murray gains the zone, dumps it in, gloved down by the Steel Dogs, man. Nice play through centre ice, cuts, nice control, kind of lost it in his skate, fell lucky. Toner reads the game as he does ever so well, and Will comes Lewis. with it for the Sharks. Lewis Young will dump it across ice, oh, nearly. nearly finds Ross Murray, nearly a good play. Ross Murray will have to clear the zone, Time. so kind of free possession for the Steel Dogs, but Toner has it. Toner, That's right in front of you. Toner loses an edge. I think Bentham thinks it's tripped, but Toner just loses an edge there. And the Steel Dogs gain the puck. 
I was just about to say, Richard, we've seen this fish before. Oh, Strew and no. Toner skating out from behind his own net. That was a trip. It's right in front of the referee. I don't know how he's missed that. The Steel Dogs have the puck and they'll come forward now through. Yep. Neutralised, gain the zone at speed. Kerr keeps his man to the outside. He can only fire wide of the post. And it's getting loud in the building as it should be. Steel Dogs have the puck on the point. It's fired loads of bodies in front of Hetman, but it's wide of the post. It's dropped to Smith. Smith plays it round the boards. Volkanovs helps it on its way. Peacock does well. Takes his man into the boards, but it's Phillips that fires from a tight angle. Hetman equal to it. Peacock has it for the Sharks and behind his own net. Cal McGill plays it round the boards and Sharks will come away through Stuart Kerr. Dumps it through, does well, finds Peacock. Peacock now is hooked. Shoot it. Still has it. Dunbar back to Peacock. Nice oh. touch in front and a good save. Big kick save by Phillips the other way for the Steel Dogs. Phillips has it round Stanton. Stanton keeps his man out of the way. He's tied up with the ref. And it's the Sharks that come forward now. John Dunbar. John Dunbar drops it back to Peacock. Back to Dunbar. As Stuart Kerr heads for the front of the net. Stuart Kerr does well. Tied up by his man. A nice hit as well after the puck goes. Sharks head off for a change. Stuart Kerr in and neutral ice as well. Does well. Sharks just dump it in. Finish off that. that. I don't know why that Haywood's acting so fair. He's the biggest girl in this league, man. As the Sharks head off, complete their line change. So Haywood will have it for the Steel Dogs. Tipped in by Gardiner. Helped out by his teammate in Arsenal. And it's Gardiner has it again. Stops up, turns, finds Arsenal. And the number five for the Solway Sharks. Goal, nice Scott pass in. into Scott Henderson. Scott Henderson fires tight angle oh. catcher save first whistle we've had in a while as bodies bump into each other it's end to end stuff here 11 minutes 12 seconds still to play in this first period scores are still 1 0-0 uh, uh, sorry he's looked quite sharp that Sheffield goalie yeah he's done well made a few big saves few yeah. big shots from Sharks players there so couple of, the, couple of an awkward height for him and he's dealt with them all so far come on boys let's get one here Sharks win the face off and Nolan Gardner will play it round the boards finds his teammate and Arsenal teammates last year as well in the ah, Canadian Youth Sports League look for his man Hepburn will come out his net and play that one from his own end Must good job quick Callum. he's put under pressure Great from pass. Puck Kieran is it Kieran here? no it's Kel Beatty looks for the stretch pass up the length of the ice we'll have a face off these first games are always difficult. I mean, everyone's trying to make an impression. Maybe gripping the stick a bit too tight. I'm not saying that's happened yet, because I don't think it has, but there can be a bit of nerves out there. You're trying to impress. Yeah, first game in, impressing your new fans. Big step up for the Sharks. And, of course, first game of the season's always got to be the hardest one. 100%, and especially with the team we've got now. Plenty of bodies, boys trying to... Sharks come place forward the through Scott Henderson and fires from the tight angle. Crow comes quite far out his net, misses the puck, but the Steel Dogs get away with it. Arsenal does well to keep it in. Scott Henderson puts his man under pressure, but it's tidied up well by Dermot and number eight for the Steel Dogs. They have it behind their own net. They come out pretty quickly. Good move there. Hit. They find Doxy Arsenal. I just thought the boys put a body on a bit this season. I mean, yeah, they're a big team, certainly. Yeah. Um, they're a big team, a few big bodies in there. You have to. Um, you have to use it you in this, level. Use it in this yeah. level, yeah. You can't get away with Good stick Good play by Lewis strong, Young, and yeah. Sharks have a two-on-two -two opportunity. Back door. Sharks, no. nice play. Ross Murray was skating in Wrong back pass. door. Wrong pass. And the Steel Dogs come the other way. It's a two-on-one, two on fired high up. Hits the wall above the cafe windows. And we'll pop a face off inside the Sharks defensive zone. Tied up, but it's the Steel Dogs that have it through Phillips. Finds Morgan. Morgan at the point. Just plays it back around the boards where it came from. Picked up by Phillips. Uh -oh. Looks at the back door. Can't quite control. Hepburn's kind of lost his post there. He's swimming about, but Sharks managed to get... Go, Kyle. Kyle Carruth can't uh, quite control, but he's helped out by Toner. Back door. Back door. Let's Good save. save by Hepburn. Big hit by Miguel, who takes a high stick into the face. 
no play by no call by Robin Elliott who looked straight at it just as it happened and it's the Steel Dogs have it in front fired high over Hepburn's shoulder and over the post but the Steel Dogs keep it in the zone in front of the Sharks bench nice passing triangle there between the three Steel Dogs they'll fire from distance Hepburn does well he's going to get on that guy Miguel he can't back away there like that I don't yeah, I think he's feeling the effects that uh, high stick you, that was kind of missed but yeah you got to get in front of that help your goalie out but Hepburn's equal to the shot holds on Come on, the boys. Craig Peacock gets tied up in the face-off circle and the Sharks will come away with it through Stainton up, his, up the near side. Good cross pass by Boyd to find Dunbar, who finds Peacock. Beats is some player. Peacock, yeah, Peacock and Dunbar. You can tell they've played together for a few years. But Boyd has it for the Sharks. Well, walked by John Dunbar to intercept and Kerr fires it from the point. But Boyd has it behind the Steel Dogs net. Referee. Peacock, yeah, Peacock's tied up and the ref looks straight at it. Now it's a foot race straight up the other end. Liam Stenton will get there first for the Sharks under pressure. Kerr tidies things up for the Sharks. Not too much. There you go, Kerr. Stuart Kerr just rounds his man like he wasn't there. Looks for the big cross-ice pass. Ison's called on the play, a bit harsh, oh, a few Steel Dog harsh. sticks kind of were harsh. pretty close and didn't make the attempt, so we'll head straight up the other end for face-off. Twelve and a half minutes gone here at them three ice bowls, still 0-0, pretty even. No, first time I've noticed Barry so far. Come on, Baz, get in this game, kid. Yeah, he's back, he's back off just now. But he will be the next Goal. line on as Dunbar rounds his man Goal. well as Goal. if he's not there. Dunbar fires the shot, big stretch save. He's caught with a high stick as well. There's a lot of, I don't know what's going on here. There's a lot of apologising to each other. Yeah, friendly, of, friendly is yeah, what it is, yeah. Not liking it. Barry McKenzie on now for the Sharks in the face-off circle. Scott Henderson and Nolan Gardner on his line. And McKenzie wins the face-off. Finds Beattie. Beattie oh, through bodies. Shot. Yeah, good wee tap in front as well. I think goalie just gets it wide. McKenzie has it for the Sharks. Just helps it on its way. Beattie will get there first. Sends it back where it came from. And McKenzie still Shoot there. Finds Henderson. Oh. Shot. And again, off oh. the post. Scott Henderson rings the post. For the first time, the closest Heads either up. team has came. Gardner's bumped into the boards, but Great wonderful play. hand. Still has it, shoots close. He's in tight. McKenzie D, D, for no. the Sharks. Big golf swing. It's like a Richard Bentham long drive competition oh, there from McKenzie. He had Kel wide open. And wide the open. Steel Dogs survive one there and will come Barry away with it one. through Turn Don't Turner. Dumps it in across his own cross ice. Arsenal as well. He lift his man's stick. Lewis Young will help him out and come like, away with the puck. I like the look of this. Um, D import we've got so far. Yeah, he's been good so far. Olivia Arsa, of course, coming across from the U Sports League in Canada. Yeah, he looks good. Teammate of Nolan Gardner last year as well. Both played on the same lineup, which I suppose coming in as a, a foreign guy the other side of the world, it probably helps out having a teammate from last year that at least you've got, you know, somebody to chat to and the hundred percent, you know, coming such a long way from home. I look forward to seeing what they like on the golf course. A lot of golfers in the team, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure you'll sort out something with the boys. <laughs> the Sharks nice. win the face off through Young Murray. Doesn't quite get there first. Miguel will have to come across. Mm. Helps out his. That's better. Yeah, that's good from Lewis Young. The Sharks oh, come forward now. Kieran here. Two on two, stops up, finds Ross Murray at the back door. Picked off well though, and the Steel Dogs will come forward now, end to end. Offside, called mm. by Alexander. I'm not sure about that yeah, one. Yeah, it was a tight one. It was a tight one. Will not complain though. 6.53 left to go in this first period. As I mentioned earlier on, I was on a live radio speaking to the local radio station trying to get a few bodies along. I said every game this season would be close and in the opening 15 and a bit minutes, this one has proved to be that way. Steel this Dogs win the face off. The referee puts his whistle to his mouth. Peacock's oh. asked the question. It's not called back. 
So Steel Dogs have it in their own zone. You can tell Liam's not been here for yeah. a couple of years. He doesn't know the bounce off that board. No, Stenton. <laughs> Stenton does well to come forward. Peacock finds them barred and bar fires from a tight angle inside the face-off circle, but the goalie juggles and holds on to it. He'll know now. Uh, that Liam. Zamboni door is oh it's a nightmare Liam Stenton of course returning after a year year and a half really yeah at the Glasgow clan and I must say he's came in he looks a bigger boy than he did when he left it's, it's great it's great to see Liam back absolutely great yeah, to see Liam back really Solway Sharks family throughout the building with his dad on the, the kit man well kit manager and his mum, of course, pours one of the best pints in the recent gallery <laughs> with Andrea up in the bar, keeping everybody well watered we'll throughout the season. We'll have to go and find her in 6.34. As the Sharks win the face-off and Stuart Kerr has it. Plays it round the board, but well, picked off. Bit of a deflection there and the Steel Dogs will come forward to gain the zone. Stuart Kerr just backing up, does well. Good job. Tied up pretty tightly and the Steel Dogs still have that. a big shot on the point from Morgan. Smith has it now, plays it down low. It's just helped on its way by a steel dog and fire it back round to Smith, who's on the point. Still steel dogs with possession in the Sharks defensive zone. Phillips. Phillips rounds Kerr, shoots on net, but it's a big kick save Callum. from Hepburn. Hands up and solid. Yeah. Come on, Carl, keep it going, kid. Good Staten, job, that's Staten Staten ties up his man, leaves Good the hat and Peacock well does well as well. And the Sharks have it. Stenton stops up behind Hepburn. Nice Go pass, now. finds Dunbar. And Dunbar will gain the zone. Rounds his man. John Dunbar looks mm. for the drop pass towards Gardiner. Not quite there. He heads off for the change. Hit him, Barry. Steel Dogs come the other way. It's picked up though. Ash now again reads the play fantastically well at the back end for the Sharks. Finds Barry McKenzie who just skates round his own net, uses his experience. Finds Kel Beatty. Beatty has it now, plays at the length. Nice, fantastic pass. pass to Barry McKenzie. He'll be instantly under pressure, but looks for the pass in front, takes the hat well. Steel Dogs will clear it only as far as neutralise, and Arsenal will gain the zone. Go, Scotty. Scotty Henderson two, two, losing two. edge. Uh, Arsenal looks oh, back to oh, 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 There's bodies in front. The Sharks have another opportunity. Skates and sticks just in the right place and the Steel Dogs get away for another one with five you know, minutes left in this period. You're not beating Kelly in a foot race anyway, let me show Sharks you. dump it high in. Crow gloves it down and will take the face off in the zone. Another fantastic opportunity for the Sharks. That D-man didn't even know the putt was at his feet. Yeah, just right place at the right time. But the Sharks just turning up the heat just slightly in the last few minutes. Yeah, definitely. I think couple of massive chances. Definitely the strong of the team at the minute. As we head in towards the face-off circle. The Lewis Young for the Sharks. Do we know any, any information on um, Hewitt being suspended? What that's about? I'm not entirely sure. I presume that's maybe a carryover from last season. Yeah. Um, oh, he got suspended in the National League, uh, the playoffs semi-final, I think it was, when yeah. they got beaten by London. Was it London? Yeah. Yeah, London. the Raiders. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that must be a carryover from last season, which. Seems a bit of an interesting one that you can serve your suspension through pre-season, be back for the I league, know, you'd think, you that. think maybe, unless it's a, a it, may, it may well be a blanket that you're just not allowed to play at all and it doesn't start counting again until the league starts, who well, knows? You would, you would think that should be Sharks the, win the face-off though and they have it be behind the, the net through Lewis Young, Lewis Young looks for McGill at the back door, lovely pass, lovely control, uh, fire, big okay. kick save again from Crow. This side, Peanut, this side, this side, Ross good Murray lad. Helps his, helps his team out, Step D's up. up. Well done. Does well, just plays the feet. Ross Murray blocks the puck. And the Steel Dogs still have it in the defensive zone. We bump on there from Lewis Young. Struan Toner will come away under pressure straight away. Steel Dogs shoot from a tight angle through number 91. Thompson, I believe that is. Saved by Hepburn. The Sharks just dump it the length of the ice. Ice and surely waved off as the ma mm. man tried to play it in the, the, the neutral zone there. I think maybe. A little bit of a harsh one from a player's perspective. I don't know. I, I, I just can't get over how some of these Sheffield boys think they're 10 men. I think it's probably one of them. If, if you're the defensive team, you want it called. If you're the attacking team, you're raging about it, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, 100%. I mean, Stroud didn't have much on there. He's 
sometimes the face off's better than the puck in the back of your net, do you know what I mean? So and the Steel Dogs win the face off. Find a man at the point. It's fired on net. There you go. A few bodies in front of Hepburn. That's Mag better. Miguel ties his man up, doesn't let him get a tap, a, a touch on it in front. But they still have it. Bisonetta is, looks to throw it back handy. There's a man at the back door. Tight angle, good pass. Come Sharks on, Lou. Do. Come on, Lou. Come on, Lou. Pack it off. Big good shot job. from Phillips. It was. That's a lot better from Miguel. Yeah, a lot tied, better. Tied his man up well. And the Sharks will clear it. Two on two. Here we go. Kieran here on his own as his teammates head off for a change. Does well up against Morgan. But Dunbar will pick it up now for the Sharks. John Dunbar finds Peacock, he can only pass it out wide but he'll pick up his own pass. I think pass. this has definitely been our strongest line so far. Yeah, it has been, they've been impressive. Beats Dunbar and Boyd, Boyd is sneaking in back balls here like he does. Dunbar's kind of tied up, the puck's in the feet of the Steel Dogs player down on the ice and Peacock will get it now for the Sharks but the Steel Dogs will clear it. Clear it to Volkanov, he's hit up against the boards, good play by McGill. Volkanov stays there and holds Miguel good stick. Good at Kersey, lad. And so it is, yeah. Oh. Kersey, Stenton, nice pass by Stenton. Back to Stenton, big swing, just wide. I think he got a stick on that. Did Whoa. you did you teach him that shot, Ben? We've no. seen a few from them. Dunbar, no, yours would have went in. Oh, not the last two years. Callum Boyd has it for the shot. Stenton keeps it in at the blue zone. He fires it on net. Is Off a peacock, Boyd. Boyd. Oh, what, what a save. save. What a save. Get it up, Boydie. Get it up, lad. Boydie done well, left the goalie stranded. But the goalie flashes the leather. Big catches save. Catches it. Big save. Boyd had a lot of net to aim at, but he puts his catcher in the right place at the right time and he saves. Thinking if he could have held on for it a split second more, maybe, but the goal was open. Yeah, good save again. And Crow it is. Daniel Crow, very impressive for the Steel Dogs. Yeah. Mackenzie wins it in the face off circle tied up through Gardner and they'll come forward the Steel Dogs through Bissonette looks for his man on the far side good job Kyle Kyle's looking good so far yeah he is he'll have not been off the ice all year though no it's down in the bottom corner BT puts his man under pressure and the Sharks just about come away with that a lot of pressure there Bods. Kel Bods. Kel look for his man doesn't ah, nice. boys come on what space in front, Steel Dogs, good slide and play, Hepburn. That looks like it's been washed off. No, he's no? given it, he's, given, he's just snuck in. Don't really know what happened there, but it's the Steel Dogs that take the one goal lead. Kind think, of against the run of play, sneaks yeah, in past think, Hepburn. I think he wanted to put a glove over it. And I think Kel's not seen um, the puck coming up. I think Kel's, Kel's predicted it coming through Kel there and it's just took a nasty deflection. Yeah, one that the Sharks, I'm sure, will be rather disappointed to lose, but it's the Steel Dogs take the one goal lead. Very unlucky. It's unfortunate for Kel that as well, because he absolutely busted it to get, yeah, to get that block in. It's the Steel Dogs win it in the face-off circle. They come forward. Drops in to neutralise the Sharks. Will be offside there as Toner just tips it in front of it's his man. It's a good man. job. Good step yeah. through. Just tips in in front of his man. Gets his stick on it. But Kieran here just inside the attacking zone before the puck. We'll have a face off just in front of the Steel Dogs bench. A minute and a half to go. So the Sharks kind of win it and dump it forward. But it's the Steel Dogs pick it up. Stop up behind their own net, trying to make a play through Phillips. Come on, Peanut. Ross Murray will put his man Volkanovs under pressure, but they'll just dump the pass off the ah, backboards. Ah, here we go. Sharks head for a change. Need to be quick here as the Steel Dogs come forward at pace and gain the zone. Oh. Look for the man at the back door. Good play by Dunbar. Just lifts the stick. Oh. Dunbar will come forward. Gains the zone for the Sharks. Drops off towards Peacock. Peacock. Oh. Look for the pass to the back door. Stuart Kerr was sneaking in, but it's tied up in the sharp. Uh, the Steel Dogs come forward. Drop pass from Good Phillips to. And it's shot high over the crossbar. Callum Boyd will pick it up for the Sharks. Heads behind his own net. Good play. Unlucky. Just didn't neutralise Callum Boyd. Looking fast as always as Boyd puts yeah, his man under looks pressure. Rapid, man. Looks S rapid. Steel, Too many. Steel Dogs just work it right middle, about middle, but Liam middle. Stenton does well and gains his own for the Sharks. 
fires it on net. Not really many more options there that he could do. Stenton still has it behind the goals. He's tipped off by Kirk. Finds Kerr. Kerr plays it round the boards and Stenton will win it again. Clever play by Peacock. Just D's up while Stenton gets back. But Dunbar has it. Dunbar to Boyd in front. Ah. Lots of bodies. Lots of sticks. As the period oh, okay. expires. Another opportunity for the Sharks. But end of period one here at the Vries Ice Bowl. It is the Steel Dogs with a one goal lead. But lots of positives I'm sure for the Solway Sharks. And front on it just um, Crow's really been standing on his head so far. Some yeah, really big is, saves. Goal is at a good period. Goal is at a good period. As both. They don't deserve to be behind. No, they don't. Sharks have had their chances and probably a goal that Callum wants back. Um, and both teams head to their respective locker rooms join us in around 15 or so minutes time for period two action here from Dumfries Ice Bowl. I think there's Gordon Horn as well. Gordon Horn's here, yeah, he has just, just spy Gordon Horn. Yeah.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Period two action coming up in the next few minutes. After period one, it is the Sheffield Steel Dogs with a one goal to now lead here at Dumfries Ice Bowl, the home of the Hercules Ice Hockey Apparel sponsored Solway Sharks. First goal of the game going to number 14, James Spur of the Sheffield Steel Dogs, assisted by Matt Bissonnet and Tom Palmer as the noise just ends up and the Sharks return to the ice. Here we go, let's have another good period. Views on, in. views on the first period, Richard? I think they, I'm impressed. I mean, the first period, who, know, who knows what's going to happen? I don't think our players knew what was going to happen. But um, steady away, they, they look sharp. I mean, a couple of boys, first time playing at this level. So it's just about getting getting the minutes in for them and just keep going. I'd like to see Boydy put that one away, but it was just a fantastic save. Yeah, I think good opportunities for the Sharks, they definitely a few shots on net and Crow has been standing on his head pretty much in the first period without Can't him. Can't do it all game. Can't With, do it all game. Without him it's probably Sharks have scored at least two of their opportunities they've had. Um, an impressive start for the Sharks, delighted to be joined by ex solo Shark Richard Bentham if you've not joined us earlier. Happy to be here. Pleasure Happy. to have him on. I definitely, definitely impressed. And we are away again. Period two action, and the Sharks win the face off. Nolan Gardner gains his own at speed. Big oh, hard shot close. over the crossbar, not far away at all. That was closer than it looked. And the Sharks heads have it again. Heads up, heads up. Barry McKenzie Goal, just Barry. reads the play. Good Jumps job. the pass, gains the red, chases his own puck belt, but picked up by Smith in a Steel Dogs jersey. Bumped in front, Gardiner nearly gets on the end of it, but it's Phillips will come forward. Gains his own, dumps it cross, Ice Carroll get there first, but he's under pressure by Volkanovs. Kerr does enough, Gardner helps it on its way to Scott Henderson. Scott Henderson back to Gardiner, nice little play between the two, and Gardiner will come forward now, gaining the zone, dumps it just wide off the post. Forced wide by Phillips and it's the Steel Dogs come forward. Steel Dogs in their unfamiliar colours really of white and orange. Just stray offside Sharks in their new home colour of navy blue. With white and light blue touches. And we'll have a face off and neutralise. Still Craig trying Pete. to get used to looking at this ice. I mean there's a lot of decoration on there now it looks good. There is lots of sponsorship. Big, big part of obviously playing at this level. Fantastic sponsors coming in and... Obviously helps the club along its way. Every face-off circle sponsored. Good, no, good five sponsors, six sponsors in centre ice as well. So the Sharks win the face-off. I think I'd have liked to have seen the Warrior Badges behind the goal maybe. but yeah, Sharks have it now. That's been and very that'll be Dunbar to Peacock. Peacock fires from... Uh, Dunbar, sorry, fires from a tight angle. Saved. And it's played round the board. Dunbar has it again. Dunbar Shoot in front it. to Boyd. Boyd stops up, oh, fires off a body, Dunbar just wide, Boyd to the tight angle, off the crossbar, goalie doesn't know where he is, needs his armbands the way he's swimming about there and the Sharks still have it through Dunbar. Good job Boyd, there Peacock. we go, oh, oh what a massive, massive kick saved by the looks of that one. I don't think he's known it's there, I think he's just Sharks still have it, Dunbar, across. and it, the Steel Step. Dogs will clear away. Come on Cal. Steel Dogs still good have job. it. Good Great job step. there by Peacock. Just read the play well. Go, we've got to go. Ash now tries to go around his man, but he's picked off by Spurs. Still has it with Ash now down the boards. And Boyd does well to keep it in the zone, but he's picked off. Sharks off the D up. Good work by Kel Beatty. Just takes the puck, takes a wee trip there. No call on it. Again, the referees pre season letting a lot of wee just niggly ones that you probably in a league season get called. And Spurs has it. He's under pressure. Yeah, Good work by just Arsenal. Letting Young. It go. That's why I'd like to see it. Too a many bit more men. Too many aggression. men. Surely it's called no, and the Steel Dogs will pick it up. The noise ramps up. The Sharks have their drum in section F. And Ross Murray gains his own for the Sharks. Kieran Hare loses an edge in front, but it's still Ross Murray. The famous Ross Murray Mohawk and Lewis Young from a tight angle saved again by Crow in the Steel Dogs net. Unlucky Lewis. Good to hear the Shark Tank getting a wee bit noisy as well, Richard. Yeah. As a player it certainly helps you on the way to the game, doesn't it? A wee bit of noise think, behind you. And I think they're getting used to it now, I think they're starting to see the difference. 
I mean, it's absolutely packed. Look at it. Yeah, so it's busy, I think. Overheard our, our owners saying that all the seats seem to be taken and allocated for this game along the side, certainly, and behind the goal's pretty busy as well. Lots of people standing around the plexi. Ah, there's lots of people standing. There's a lot of people like here at the Shark Tank, but it's the Steel Dogs that will come forward. Crazy. Stuart Kerr just keeps his man to the outside. Ross Murray loses an edge, but keeps going. He'll put Morgan under pressure and puts a hat in. A couple of big bodies coming together there, and Murray and Morgan played against each oh. other for many a year at this lower level um, when the Steel Dogs were part of the National Shoot. Serum. The Sharks come forward, Murray, ah. Murray drops it to Lewis Young who shoots. Good play by Ross Murray, tried to take the goal, his eyes away. Oh, Steel Dogs man losing edge, Robin Elliott's going to call that, that penalty he when his even back was to it. Did he even see it? But the Sharks put Scott Henderson, puts him under pressure. Sharks called two minutes ah. for high sticks. Very unfortunate, just after we said, not a lot's been called in this game, but Kieran here heads off for high sticks. William Stenton, Kersey, yeah, Nolan Gardner and Barry McKenzie. Steel Dogs clear the zone with their face off. Let's see how special teams perform. Davy Phillips gains his nice. own, can't quite control that. Nice and yeah. well they called, yeah. Good forechecking from the Sharks, put the pressure on. Phillips couldn't control. And with 18 seconds of the penalty gone, the puck's down the other end. That probably takes another good 20 seconds off. A good start to the penalty kill for Great the Sharks. Start. Did well to step up, I think it was Liam. Make them dump it in before the red. Barry McKenzie heads into the face-off circle for the Sharks up against um, Johnny Phillips, it looks like. Hey, uh, Davy Phillips, sorry. And it's the Steel Dogs win the face-off, come forward, Bissonette finds the pass, pass. cross ice, well controlled. Sharks just tighten their box formation, Stent in front of Hepburn does well to move Phillips. Volkanovs has it now, finds Bissonnette, back to Phillips, shoots it low and well wide, another tra 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 challenge in Hepburn with that, but still the Steel Dogs looks in front of the game, Bissonnette again at the back door, can't quite control, sneaks wide but it's up at the point now, Cuck fires, blocked by his own man, Sharks get bodies in the way, Hepburn does enough, force Good it job, wide and stay and throws it round the boards. Makes him backtrack, half the penalty gone already as the Sharks head off for a very quick line change. <laughs> Kelbite putting his man under pressure, ties him up well. Again, just takes valuable seconds off it. The penalty, again, it's the Steel Dogs that still have it. Beatty does well, puts his man into the board. Sharks are clear ah. as far as the blue. Can't find John Dunbar. And it's dumped in round the boards. Steel Dogs still in the zone. Still just outside the face-off circle. Fires the shot Good off a beat escape. Cal. No! Dunbar will just dump. And the Sharks head off for it. Certainly one forward change loose. Young heads on and Ross Murray heads on for the Sharks with the penalty almost killed. Five seconds left on it. Lewis Young will just send it length ice and that'll do it. Good kill. Yeah, good play by Lewis Young there and Kieran Hare straight out of the box to put their man under pressure. Martin Grubb, I'm sure, pretty happy with that first penalty yeah, kill the Sharks have faced. I don't think they had a strength. chance, really. It's always been a strength, it's always our penalty kill. Ross Murray puts his man under pressure, maybe lucky to get away with a couple of slashes there. But the Steel Dogs still have it shot on net. Hepburn does well to hold on. Miguel doesn't like the attention in on his goalie, him and Thompson. Charlie Thompson, number 81 for the Steel Dogs, has just sent away Cal Miguel, saying, don't come too close to my goalie, the whistle's been blown, you don't need to be in here. Yeah, I like it, you got to do that. Yeah, stick up for your goalie and they'll stick up for you. Good work there from Miguel, I like that. Just a wee bit of bite, just not, not coming in too close. 
No, that's another boy for Sheffield thinking he's a tough kid. Not at all. Lewis, young in the face of circle for the Sharks. He wins it. Miguel just plays it to the boards towards Tona. He can't control, but two Sharks up against two Steel Dogs. The Steel Dogs that come away through Shudra, I believe it is. There, Tate Shudra, number 98 for the Steel Dogs. Again, Sharks do well. Lewis Young finds Ross Murray. Good control. Ross Murray gains his Shoot, own. Ross. Go on, Peanut. Ross Murray stops up, turns back, throws the Mohawk. Mm. Plays it towards Lewis Young. Lewis Young, no. uh, not the right pass. Quite there to Stent and can't quite control, but Tono Good does job, well, sir. reads it. Plays it round the boards. Kieran Hare's tied up. He's forced into the boards. Liam Stent and does well, comes out for the Sharks, turns up, looks for his man in front. No control. Ross Murray can't quite get it. Hetman's happy enough to play that one. Play it off to Kerr and the Sharks will come again through Kerr. Long stretch pass. Good well, does well to find Scott Henderson who dumps it in. Gardner gains the zone but he's blocked off by Phillips. I want to say a little bit more from Scotty. Yeah, not seen much of Scotty so far this game. As we say that, he puts a hat in on the boards. And the Steel Dogs come forward. Phillips, experienced head in the Steel Dogs lineup. GB gold medal winning captain tied up by Stenton and Kerr helps his defenseman out there Kerr digging away at it under pressure Steel Dogs do well to come out net. yeah good play by Stenton slides puts him off Gardner will get there first for the Sharks and he looks for the pass to McKenzie through the middle Barry McKenzie for the Sharks turns up Kerr on the blue fires it off mm. a feet McKenzie will keep it in the zone looks for Scott Henderson Gardner will get there in the blue jersey not quite first but still controls it in his feet Scott Henderson under pressure we bump from the back and it's the Steel Dogs come clear now Steel Dogs finds Phillips. Phillips feels like he's been on almost every shift here for the Dogs. No! Scotty Henderson dumps it off a referee. Maybe gets lucky. It would have been a nice one. He wanted to go off for the change. Steel Dogs just have to stop up as they make the line change. Gain the zone. Dump it in. Calm Hepburn will have to stop it up. Kerr does well. Finds Stenton. Stenton finds Peacock. Peacock looks for Dumbar. Dumbar can't quite control and neutralise but does enough. Find Stent and he'll fire it in round the boards at pace. Goalie comes out and misses it. Dunbar will fire it on net just wide from Connor Henderson. And oh, front saved again. Pete's had a couple of them chances now. Yeah, a couple in front from Peacock. Just pings over. Goalie does enough. They weren't clear cut. They were not clear cut. Sharks do well through us. Now ties up his man, makes him leave the zone. Still on his back. And the Sharks do well. Blocked in front from, by Connor from, Henderson. Connor. Shot on net, just wide of the, the net there. Connor Henderson can't get hit in. Dunbar hits his man, but it's the dogs that come forward now. In front, good save by Hepburn. Great save by Hepburn, in fact. From the tip in front, and the Sharks come clear. Find Peacock in neutral ice. Peacock finds Dunbar. Dunbar back to Peacock, back to Dunbar. Nice double double play. Dunbar still has it, rounds the net. Can you Arsenal, shoot that? Arsenal fires it low. Bodies in front. Where's the puck went? Nobody's on top of it. The goalie gets a stick, clears it away. And it is Palmer who lays it off to his teammate. Beatty blocks it, but stops up back door. Spock can't quite control for the Steel Dogs. And behind the net, under pressure from Arsenal and Beatty. Lewis Young does well, Lewis. steps in off the forward line, Time. helps out his D. Kel Beatty for the Sharks, just holds thing up, finds Arsenal in the Lee, Sharks jersey. Oh, oh, do you need Sharks, a change? Sharks head up, ice through Arsenal, just offside. Ah, that's not the, book. It's yeah, not the worst Keith, thing. Kieran here just went in for Sharks head off for the defensive change. First shift of the game here for Kean Shevlin, I think, as well. One of the Sharks um, under 18s, one yeah. of the juniors. Big kid, cracking future ahead of him again done a lot of good stuff on his two-way with the um, Edinburgh Capitals and the SNL last year and another one deserving of a chance at this level. 100%. Lewis Young wins the face-off, finds Ross Murray who's instantly under pressure. Stenton does enough to clear the defensive zone. Chevy puts his man under pressure. Murray will pick it up, just dumps it in off the goalie. First kind of shaky moment for the goalie tonight. Can I yeah. spill that one out? Almost didn't expect it. Spilled it out in front. I'm done enough to get get on top of it. Bit bubbly. Yeah, it gets, gets the face off inside the zone for the shot. So yeah, a big yeah. thing, you know, win the face off. and You take it all day. It's the Steel Dogs that win the face off though, and they play it around the boards. Stent and can't control and it'll wave straight off out, the Chevy, ice straight out Chevy Chevy does well it's hat late but the Sharks will come forward through Kieran here. Kieran here just plays it up the board to Lewis Young Sharks can't control 
Chevy will be put under pressure Heads from up, Bremer. Chevy. Chevy. Ah, oh, Chevy. there's a body in front. Thompson blocks it, needs to watch the back door. Stenton gets there, helps out his defensive teammate. Turns up, does well, Stenton. Lewis Young takes a hit, but Shevlin will have it for the shark. Shevlin looks for the stretch pass, finds Murray brilliantly. Ross Murray looks for help. Stops up on the blue line, on the goal line, dumps it in deep. Kieran Hare will get there, not quite. Sharks just head off, just a, a ill kind of time change almost for the Sharks. Ross Murray at the end, he shifts heads off. No. But the Sharks come forward, stent and takes a hit from Turner well after the puck's gone. Ison will be waved off and Bremer will get there first for the Steel Dogs is under pressure from Shevlin two Sharks there two there versus go. one it's pinned up against the boards he's happy enough to keep it there Sharks are digging in for it a Steel Dogs there to help him out we're going to have a whistle and we're going to have a face off inside the zone Sharks heading for the face off Barry McKenzie asking the referee maybe just drop the puck and we'll get on with things here Barry McKenzie can't quite win it so Steel Dogs come away Scotty there Henderson goes, Scotty. does well puts the body in puts the hit in as does Toner behind the net Steel Dogs man does well turns on a 50 pace and it's 2-0 Brownlee there at the back door unfortunate for the Sharks unlucky boys Just needs to get one. Get yeah. one. First goal is big for the Sharks yeah. now. Don't, don't let it get too far away. Again, it's, it's been against the run of play a couple of times as well. Both goals, Sharks having opportunities. And the Sharks come forward. Boyd just dumps it in. Straight away under pressure from Brownlee and Morgan. Dunbar's in there putting pressure on on the defence of the Steel Dogs. Steel Dogs come forward now. Phillips. And he's on defensive zone, plays it up the boards. BT will pick that off for the Sharks. He's under pressure from Volkanovs. Chip. Looks for Boyd. Boyd Good job. Just about does enough, but Brownlee reads the play. Fires it round the boards. Volkanovs again has it for the Steel Dogs. Under pressure from BT. BT does well there to come away with it and keep up or pick it up for the Sharks. Off the boards, Morgan stops it with his skate blade. It's tied up. Marsh now ties up his man the board. Boyd has it for the Sharks. No. Finds BT Peaks under pressure. Maybe not the best choice of pass there. But the Sharks will come forward now. Peacock finds Boyd. Not ah, quite. Boys. Not quite. Boyd will get there first though. He's fast. Finds Dunbar. Dunbar plays a nice wee move to lay it off. And Peacock will be there for the Sharks. And behind the Steel Dogs net. Three men up against them. Peacock loses his stick. Lifts his hands and says, where's the call? As the Steel Dogs come clear. Nice pass through the middle, it's a one-on-one -on -one piece of net, fires off the shin pad of Kerr and the Sharks come forward through Carruth. Carruth's picked off, straight at Hepburn, saved. You can see what Carruth's trying to do, he's trying to play out, maybe just be a wee bit too clever there. Mm. Picked off well um, at this he's level. Unlucky. He's unlucky there. I mean, that, that's the little things now, not just with Carl, but with... Beats his pass up there, see a couple of weeks into the season, that, that pass is on the tape and we're away on a two on one, but those things will come like, people need to realise things do, they, to, do take a little bit of time, especially yeah. so early on, but... It's a team that have trained together for really a week and a half. Yeah, exactly, and I mean no. this Sheffield team, they've been together for as long as anything, I mean most of their bench is Sheffield boys. Steel Dogs that come forward now. Kerr does well up against his man. He's hit into the boards, but Stenton Think comes away. has got some, an issue with his skates. Tall D man at back for Sheffield. Yeah. Not too happy come looking on. there. Just put him under pressure before he can get off the ice. Who is on the puck there. Plays it through, neutralised. It's deflected off of bodies. Gardner will get there first. Plays it up the board. Stenton does Ooh. well. Leaves his hit in on Palmer. Bit and Carruth will pick it up. Carruth's pinned well. against the boards. Does well though. And McKenzie for the Sharks. He just flicks it high along the boards. 
bounces off the top of the DJ booth. They're shouting for a delay of game there, but I mean, no it's, it's bench high. It's came I think off it a, came off hourglass. Uh, it, it came off. It certainly came off at some, and it bounced off the top of the DJ booth. It's not going to be one that's ever called when they're outside of the no. ice with the benches and as much open plexi. Absolutely begging for it, begging for them. Come on, Solway, let's mm. get one. 98 for the Steel Dogs, should run the face off circle, Tate loses out to Peacock for the Sharks. We change a line for the That's Sharks better. here, I think. Um, Scott Henderson on that top line ah. now. Sharks Good job. Do well to come away. Dunbar comes forward now, no. Peacock shoot, finds shoot. Toner. Toner ah. fires. Slides Toner in front, fires it again across the net. How it didn't hit a body and drop in, you'll never know, but Dunbar picks it up. Fire a wee bobbly one, not the easiest one to control from Miguel. Peacock has it in front, finds oh, Dunbar, can't quite control. Struan Toner fires it Good through shot. bodies. Oh, unlucky. Crow spills it, but it's the Steel Dogs that come away, and Arsenal put his man under pressure, takes it off his skate blade. Toner will help tidy things up. Olivia Arsenal is there first for the Sharks, wearing number five this season, comes forward. Hey! There's a trap, Sharks head keep to the it, bench. Keep it, keep it, keep Hep it, keep it. Hepburn heads off, Sharks do well, rounds their man, it's John Dunbar, ah, it's touched up, Scott right, Henderson. Here we go. Let's see what Sharks do on their power play here. The Sheffield man argues his case, but... He definitely he dangled it, he's saying he, he, you know, he dangled it in there, he, he dangled his skate in, he caught the skate blade and it's took the Sharks man over. And rightly so, it's a wee trip as the Sharks head on the first power play. And it is very much an elite league line on here, Bentham. It is Peacock, it is Mackenzie. And it's Nolan, Nolan Gardiner, sorry, Nolan Gardiner. I thought it was um, I thought it was Dunbar on there with them. No, it is Dunbar's on the D there, look. Dunbar and Arsai on the D, so it's really four forwards, one D. It is. Yeah, one four. So Peacock in the face-off circle for the Sharks. Peacock ties it up. Nolan Gardner's knocked to the ice and the Sharks, the Steel Dogs, clear Good around job. the boards. Unlucky, unlucky. Dunbar does well, keeps it in well at the done. point. He's under pressure, digging away. Volkanovs, John and Phillip. Eh, Phillip just clears his own. Time, time, time. Let's set one up. The Sharks have it now through half now. No. It's picked off well there by Phillips. What can we do? What can we do? Arsenal out speed gains the zone. Looks for help. Finds Gardner. Gardner ah. off the goalie's helmet. The Sharks still have it. Oh, there's a, a one on one here. Volkanovs up against Peacock. Peacock. Great job. Peacock piece. does well. No. No. That's not a penalty. That's a great back check. Yeah, good work there from Peacock. Penalty is called, very unfortunate, what's hard to get back there. That's a great back check. Two minutes for Holden, he's done well to get back in. I mean, they've put, he's put the brakes on the Sheffield guy and I don't know what yeah, else. He can do, he can't stop uh, there, yeah, unfortunate on that one. I don't know what this guy's moaning about either with his...
Eight that their goalie's probably got lucky on a couple of saves as the Steel Dogs win the face off, fire That's it from shot. distance. That's a great Hit shot. Does well, he saved Stent and tied up with Brownlee and Boyd comes forward. Yeah, he's yeah. called it, he's called he's it. He's called the slash, Hepburn goes to the net. Haywood's tied up with Boyd. Sharks will have an opportunity of Boyd, a, Boyd, eh? Yeah. That is quality That's play. That's good from Boyd, good work there from Callum Boyd. Like a little Jack Russell, that kid. Yeah, he's, yeah. dog with a bone, he sees that puck and he's after it. It's a Sharks head on to a five on, uh, four on three, sorry. Barry McKenzie organises the troops. He'll be heading into the face-off circle and know where he wants his boys. 4.57 left of oh, this second period. This one seems to have flown, but flown by. I was just about to say this is in a yeah, quick up there and five minutes left, it's flown by. Just a wee bit of confusion again with the, the whole penalty situation, I think. Big draw. And wins the face-off just about. Sharks tie it up through the bar. Dunbar just takes his time, finds McKenzie. Sharks fans get loud behind their team. McKenzie controls it on the blue, finds Dunbar. Dunbar back to McKenzie. Shoot it. Back door to Stain. To Beatty, sorry, Beatty to Gardner. Back to Beatty. Gardner, poor control from Gardner behind his own net, but comes away with it, does well. I think it hopped on him. Yeah, just took a wee bobble in front Settled of the stick. Down now. There you go, man, down. Let's go. Dunbar has it, finds Step McKenzie in, Barry. again. Barry just steps in. Back, you wind up, there. Dunbar off the That's goalie's the shot, helmet. you got to shoot that there. Yeah, winds up, looks for Dunbar at the back door, and it's a nice um, save off the top of the netminder's helmet. I'm surprised to see, I know that's a good, it's a good pass, but I'm surprised to see Barry pass that. Yeah, possibly one of them if he's 20 goals into the season, he fires it himself. 100%, yeah. Again, McKenzie in the face-off circle for the Sharks. Wins it again, okay. finds Beatty. Beatty back to McKenzie. Looks down low, nice tape-to-tape -tape pass. Well controlled by Gardner this time, finds McKenzie again on the blue. Fire no. first time, Kel Beatty blows a tyre on that one, but it's picked up by Dunbar. Back to McKenzie. McKenzie now. Ah! Because, well, five on, four on four, four on four, four. A few seconds here. It's fired across from the Sharks. McKenzie has it now. McKenzie looks down low. Gardiner back to McKenzie. McKenzie just bides his time, skates across the blue. No. Finds Beatty, drops it off to Dunbar. Dunbar's tied up well, but it's helped out there. Arsenal is now on the ice, Sharks. Oh, that's a great Looks pass. for the back door to Dunbar. Can't quite get there. Beatty will pick it up now for the Sharks. Fired on oh, net just wide. Oh, is it the just, post? Yeah, just wide. Hits the post is again. The, the post? Sharks. Good block by the goalie just to deflect it on as the Steel Dogs send that one down the length of the ice. Four ice in three seconds till the Sharks are 25. Yeah, I like this team, man. So Sharks will have a man advantage for 14 seconds when Peacock returns. Brownlee is already signaling his own bench. He's heading straight over there when he comes off. Sharks, Scotty Henderson, the face-off circle. Scotty Henderson, Ross Murray on the ice. Scott Henderson just chips it in front of his own man but it's picked up by the Steel Dogs and they'll play it through the centre ice. Pete Cock is back on the ice for the Sharks. Ten seconds left on the Steel, Steel Dogs penalty. Not really much you can do, not much time with ten seconds on it but the Sharks will come Peanut's at speed. Peanut's got a few goals. Uh, uh, he's looked for the stretch pass and uh. as the Steel Dogs return to full strength, Sharks ice the puck of face off. Peanut came in the middle there, he's away.
Sharks win the face off through Peacock Kerr can only dump it round the board Scott Henderson will put Brownlee under pressure but Phillips has it there John Phillips good job Cousy he plays it up the board towards Cook he just throws it down round the boards Arsenal put his man under pressure tied up lots of bodies in front but somehow they come away with that it's covered up by Hepburn few sticks in there Sharks just kind of swarm round, clear the net, make sure nobody's a bit any closer than they were to Hepburn. Sharks won the face off again. Kel Beatty has it behind his own net. Stretch pass through the middle. Boyd will not get there first. I think Boyd has been a standout player so far. Yeah, Boyd has looked good, yeah. He has looked good. Suppose it's part of a two-way, so it's maybe giving a well, you know, when, when there's bodies missing, I'll come and play. This is, this is what I'll give you. Yeah. I mean, I knew he was quick, but when you're watching up here, bloody, I mean, bloody net, you, you soon see he's quick. Yeah, Steel Dogs win the face-off. Fire it round the boards. Callum Boyd will pick it up Heads for up the Sharks. And he's tied up there though. Steel Dogs have it. Nice play okay. here and here. Go, go, get there go, first. Go. Ah, go on Lewis then. Young. Sharks go have on a two then. on one here. Sharks three on one. Kieran here. Ah, fire ah, saved okay. again. Boyd will check back. Just helps his team out there and the neutralise. But it's the Steel Dogs. Nice move by Volkanovs. Picked off Let's by Lewis. Lewis Good Young job, lad. does well Shoot to gain it. his own rounds. His man shoots from a tight angle. Big kick save. Back ah. out in front. No blue jersey there. And the Steel Dogs come forward again. Big dump pass. Brownlee just leaves it. Heads for a line change. Cut Lewis bust him to get back there. Yeah, good work. Stenton looks for the path right through the middle. Finds come on, Boyd. Boyd. Nice play from Boyd. This He'll side, gain the zone. This side, this side. There nice you go. play to Gardiner. Okay. Just not quite tight angle. Gardner fire it go around. On, Boyd will get it on his skate. Blade, but the Steel Dogs tidy it up. Sharks have it through Miguel. Nice pass through, neutralised, and it's tipped forward. Crow will come out and grab it. Mackenzie will put the pressure on. Crow decides to hold on. Sharks will have a face off in the zone. One minute, ten seconds left in this second period of action here at the Freeze Ice Bowl. I think yeah. they're going to get one. Yeah, I think coming. they're going to steal they're, one here. I think got a feeling they're going to nick one here. Knock a greasy one. Knocking the door. Knocking the door, certainly. Let's see if my first prediction ever as a commentator is right. Yeah. I doubt it, but I'm hopeful. There the Sharks go. win the face Bam! off. Oh, what a chance. Barry McKenzie. Nearly had it. Nearly called it. Barry McKenzie jumps through the face off circle, plays it across, and Garner can't quite get there first, but the Sharks will come forward. Toner does well for the Sharks, just tidies things up at the back end as he done oh so many times. Mr. Stall with Sharks himself, of course. Is this his first it. game with his little one watching? Yeah, on it will be. On Toner has it in front. Oh. Oh. Has he got skate? Has he got figure skates on there like toe picks? I know he's got some new skates on. And it's the Steel it's Dogs have time. come forward now. Has he got his new ones on? I can't tell. I think they are. They look shiny. Steel Dogs man gets knocked to the ice by the Sharks import and no it wasn't import it was Miguel I like that from Miguel yeah puts the body on that's what you need at this level and the Sharks come forward through Gardner Gardner tries to just knock it around his man but it's read well but the Sharks will get there Peacock Peacock in front oh! opportunity big kick save again the Steel Dogs get away with another one and they'll come forward 10 solid, seconds no. to go you Sharks solid here, boys. things up for the last few seconds Arsenal puts the hat on after the puck's gone three to go Good play by Callum Boyd, well done, denies the shooting opportunity as the second period comes to a close. How they've not scored, I honestly have no idea. Yeah, Sharks have chopped the proverbial kitchen sink at it's the Steel Dogs so far. It's They'll be disappointed period. to be two goals down after two, but the Sharks certainly have been probably on top for the majority. As both teams head off to the locker room, I'm sure Finn the Shark will be joining us at centre ice for Chuck a Puck, part of the, the new on and off ice experience here at the Freeze Ice Bowl. Join us in around 15 to 20 minutes time for period three action. Yeah, this is going to be a good one coming the up. Hercules 
Ice Hockey Apparel sponsored. Solway Sharks take on the Sheffield Steel Dogs here at the Dumfries Ice Bowl. The Shark Tank will see you soon.
Sharks TV for period three action here at Dumfries Ice Bowl, the home of the Hercules Ice Hockey, a parallel sponsored Solway Sharks. My co-host Richard Bentham is away, hopefully blunting the, the skates of the Steel Dogs as we speak. He's round there with, with his young son Bradley, speaking to a few of the guys that he's known from being in the game for a few years. Um, so he will be back to join us in a couple of minutes as the Steel Dogs make their way back onto the ice, closely followed by the Solway Sharks and their new home colours of navy laid out by starting netminder of this game today, Calm Hepburn. Score after period one and two action at a 2-0 to the Sheffield Steel Dogs, but probably doesn't quite reflect how the games went. The Solway Sharks have had some good opportunities and just not quite being able to find a way past um, as Daniel Crow in the net for the Steel Dogs getting the start today. Um, he's made some good saves and certainly kept his team score against that zero as we go into period three. And this saw the Sharks being made to pay a couple of, a couple of little mistakes, you could call them, at the back end have led to the two goals. First one certainly Callum Hepburn in the net would probably want to see back. As we go into period three, 29 shots on the net of the Steel Dogs and 13 shots on the net of Callum Hepburn, which I think just shows the pressure um, that the Sharks have been piling on. Sharks seem to be starting off with a forward line here. Barry McKenzie, Nolan Gardiner and Scott Henderson. Stuart Kerr and Liam Stetton on the back line. And the face-off is won by the Steel Dogs. Finds Smith in his own defensive zone. Looks for the cross-ice pass. Played up the boards. Liam Stetton steps in, reads it well. Stetton has to stay on side because Gardiner was in the zone. The Sharks are gaining the zone now through Scott Henderson just dumps it round Steel Dogs help it on its way but it's kept in by Stetton at the point Steel Dogs man losing edges down it's shot on net big deflected save wide Stetton takes a bump but Sharks still have it now Sharks in behind the net Gardiner under pressure from Morgan and the Steel Dogs play it high high up into the ceiling at the sharp tank it clips off one of the um, the high beams what's the moment as Richard Bentham joins me and we do a wee pass over of Bradley. <laughs> Welcome back, Richard. Welcome back. Sorry about that. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back, Richard. I was just saying hello to some of my, my mates down from Sheffield. I, I kind of hope you're maybe, you know, <laughs> tampering with their skates, making them a wee bit less sharp, giving the sharks a wee edge in this one of them just said to, One of them just said to me he's got an issue with skates, this lad now. As the sharks come forward, they've got it with Kirk, plays it cross ice to Haywood, but it's picked off and centre ice by Craig Peacock for the Solway Sharks. Flashes it into the neutral zone. Ethan Ed does well to pick it up, gains the zone, Haywood fires it round the boards hard. The Sharks do enough to clear it, a shot high over Hepburn over his head at six foot four and it was still over his head, high shot wide. And Peacock picks up for the Sharks, he just skates out, finds Dunbar. Dunbar does well, gains his own on the outside, flicks it high, Crow catches that one, he'll hold on and we'll have a face off in the attacking zone for the Sharks. As the next player, Richard, what do you think the kind of end of period two messages there in the, the Sharks locker room? You've known Martin, you've I worked think, on for a number of years. I so. think Spurl will just be telling them to just keep doing what they're doing and just try, even if you try and get a dirty one straight away, like this line now, they could easily just go and get a gritty one. Yeah, chip in with a wee deflection Aye, or something. And then, you, and, and then your bigger boys will find it a like, bit more less pressure and maybe take one of them chances. I mean, it's, it's not a 2-0 game. 
It's not, you, we, I mentioned there before you joined us, uh, the shots on goal shit very much in Sharp's favour as the Steel Dogs come the other way and shoot it on Hepburn, but straight into his catch ah, exactly them all night long. 29 to 13. You know, Sharks almost 2-1 out shooting them. Well, well over yeah. 2 one out shooting them there. Yeah, quick maths there, Rowan. So we'll do that one again. Steel Dogs man. Just slightly edging into the face off circle. Robin Elliott didn't like that one. Come on, boys, let's get one now. Quick one. I know I keep saying that, but I can feel it. Yeah, I think a goal just opens the game up a wee bit. The Sharks certainly deserve one so far, and they come forward through Lewis Young. These boys are going to get one. And the Sharks will there head for the, the power one. play. Sharks do well. Struan Torner fires one. It's a good save. By Crow as Toner fired. Kieran Hare pays him close attention. Hepburn heads for the bench with the Sharks head on the man advantage. Once more they'll be looking to get this power play a high stick called against Steel Dogs number 71. Which is Jack Bremer. Plenty of these names Richard when you read down the team. That have been in Steel Dogs jerseys for oh, so mate. many years. Eh? Exactly that. Even going back to when they were part of the the North League setup when the the EPL kind of folded and before they they formed this new National League. A lot yeah, of the names the, the, are the same. The junior setup at Sheffield has always been very strong. Sharks win the face off Dumbarda as well to keep it in at the blue. Stenton flashes that across, but the Steel Dogs well clear through. John O'Phillips just shows his experience. He just read the read oh, the game perfectly. Hepburn, bit of a loose pass out from the back, trying to be too clever. And the Steel Dogs just drop it all the way back. Take valuable seconds off the penalty. Spot has it in his own defensive zone. Once again, they just drop the pass back. Then they look for the big long pass. Fire it on Hepburn, who deflects it wide. And it's Phillips that'll get there first. He's bumped by McKenzie, but he'll find his own man in Morgan. Morgan under pressure. Stenton stops up, controls the puck behind his net. Stenton. Fires it across the still blue. Still a minute and a half, come on. Hepburn just kind of stepped back there, wasn't he too sure himself where it was, but the Sharks still have it now. Peacock drops Fast it back to Stenton. Stenton finds Dump, uh, Gardner. Gardner flashed it across to Mackenzie. Good pass, tape to tape. No. Mackenzie just drops the puck. Can't quite control Hepburn. will come out and play that in his own end. Hepburn stops it up. Peacock. I do think a goal would settle him down. Yeah, Peacock finds Dunbar. Dunbar. Finds BT. BT can't control. He'll stop up in the neutral zone. Control it again. Back to Dunbar. Back to BT. And the Sharks will come forward now again in the zone. BT just loses an edge. It gets tied up in his feet, but it's helped out by Mackenzie. The long shift for Barry. Yeah, he's been on there a while. Good minute and a half at least. Mackenzie still has it just outside the hash marks. John Dunbar looking to make a wee move. Just pulls out wide. Mackenzie's been allowed a lot of puck to assess his options, good pass there, flashed across, Peacock finds Dunbar down low, Gardiner's in front, he would pays him some attention in this, the Steel it's a bit Dogs too clear obvious. it. Yeah. A little bit too obvious. Just parked himself in front, looked for the puck, but it's cleared the length of the ice, and the Sharks pick it up through, Peacock, Dunbar, only five seconds left on the man advantage, it's tied up, but the Sharks are getting the zone through, Gardiner, Scott Henderson looks for the backdoor play, but it's picked off as the Steel Dogs return to full strength. Gardner dumps it down low, John Dunbar's in there, again been on the ice for a while Dunbar, but Good it does play. well to find Beatty. Beatty flash it across, it ties up in feet, Haywood does enough to clear and the Steel Dogs will come forward now. Rounds Boyd, Scott Henderson's tied up with his man there, and the Sharks will pick it up, Lewis Young. Lewis Young will gain the zone, Sharks 3 on 2 here, if they can move oh. it quick, Boyd can't quite control. It's picked off by the Steel Dogs again. The opportunity for the Steel Dogs. Three on one here. Kerr backstopping for the Sharks. Fired across hard. That's a bad pass. Yeah, bad. Poor choice there from the Steel Dogs. And the Sharks come forward through Boyd. Boyd makes a move at centre ice. Rounds his man well does Boyd. Fire straight into the logo. It's spilled. Sharks stabbing away at it. It's there somewhere. It's covered over just. I think everybody lost sight, lost sight of it. Kieran here's poking away for the Sharks. Trying to get the advantage. Plenty, it's still okay. plenty still okay. of defence Boydie again though, Boydie again. Yeah, Boydie's causing problems. 
maybe one of them players in the, the preparations that they're not really expected to play tonight and kind of yeah he's up there on the top line he is causing bother yeah he definitely is He's the kind of player you want in your team, he's gritty. Yeah, it gets under the skin of a lot of opponents as well. He just knows how to press the buttons as the Sharks. Uh, he does the jobs yeah. most people don't want to do. Half win the face off and Kieran here dumps it around the boards, puts his man under pressure. And they can only clear as far as Lewis Young to Stuart Kerr on the point. He'll fire it, it deflects off of sticks. And into the net and behind the goal we'll have another face off inside the circle. Four minutes. 51 seconds played in this third period. Still, the Steel Dogs have a two goal advantage. But the Sharks certainly knocking on the door here. And Lewis Young skates into the face off circle and wins the draw up against Thompson. It's tied up. Ross Murray's throwing sticks at it, and it's the Sharks that'll come away with the puck. Dump it in deep. Kieran here working hard on the boards. He's under pressure, but Murray's there to help him out. Somehow, Kieran here still has it. Looks for Murray. Murray in front. Murray now. Couldn't quite control, gets tied up in the boards. Couple of bodies there. It's Lewis Young for the Sharks. Dumps it right towards Liam Stenton. No, that's Stenton not the Stenton looks for the Unlucky pass. Though. Carroll drop back, just collect it and neutralise the Sharks. will clear the zone. Looks for a cross ice. Ah. Come on. Unfortunate for Lewis Young, but it's a three on one. Hepburn does well. Hepburn saves. Good job, Callum. Callum Hepburn, brilliant save for the Solway Sharks. Definitely a high right, highlight real save there for Hepburn. That'll do Sharks will just, good as well. Yeah, Sharks will just dump that one down, just take Good the job, pressure Cal. off a wee bit. Great play there from Hepburn. He was on a three against O. Done well to deny the Steel Dogs forward as he came through. Stands tall as Hepburn does and proved so many times last season on the way to the Sharks winning the Shark Slam quadruple. But once uh, again, like we mentioned earlier, one wee mistake and there's another opportunity. I think you know, we just need a look, we need something just to lucky bounce. Away. Lucky, lucky bounce, just something, almost, get us it? on yeah. the board and we're, we're there then. I think we've plateaued a little bit. Steel Dogs win the face off, fired off and Ian Gardner will come forward now. He's an opportunity here as Gardner. Sharks head off for a change, Gardner dumps it high, Stuart Kerr, the defenceman's the furthest forward for the Sharks just now, he's under pressure, tied up in the boards, but he's helped out by Gardner, who does well, Sharks come away, Stuart Kerr tries to play a move, but Gardner will dump it down low, Scott Henderson will pick it up, under pressure again, Scott Henderson, and of course his number 89 jersey for the Sharks, and it's played up the boards, Stuart Kerr can fix it off it, neutralise, good work by Stuart Kerr, under a lot of pressure, but he can only find an orange and white jersey, and Smith and it's Volkanovs now. A player that you'd have played against, Richard, for Witness. Who's a couple that against? of years ago, Vladimir Volkanovs. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not used to seeing him without a cage. I'm yeah, he normally he's played in a cage for ages. Yeah, I don't know when, when that came off. He's certainly, he's not just turned. He's not a bad he's player. He's not just turned 16 in the last few years, but he is a good player. And it's, the uh, Sharks come forward through Beatty. Mackenzie looks for Scott Henderson at the back door, can't quite control. It's the wee saucer pass, quite a difficult one to get a stick on. Scott Henderson can only play it down the board. Mackenzie takes a bump, but he's helped out by Dunbar. Again, it's just the Steel Dogs just get that lucky bounce, but it's Dunbar now. Dunbar, there's a stick in his feet, but the referee mm. says no. Davey's not going to call that one. Ah, oh, that's a good corner, play Yeah, me, Corner Henderson nearly in on one there. That'll go for icing. And the Arsenal will get there first for the Sharks. We'll have a face off up the other end. Yeah, Vlad Volkanovs, a player, played for Witness. Um, I think he joined the Steel Dogs last year. Yeah. Had a pretty good season at this level and is now, I believe, an assistant captain for them as well. Is he? Yeah. Um, I don't know where he's from, right? Originally. Vlad Volkanovs. Uh, 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 Latvian, I was, potentially. I was just about to say it's that, sort of, that sort of name. Sharks win the face off. They fire it on net. Peacock tries to redirect in front but only managed to get it wide. And the Steel Dogs will come forward. Nice play in front, he slides, they want the trip, they're not getting it, and Arsenal come forward for the Sharks, good work on the board, so Steel Dogs do well, he dispossessed Connor Henderson, just does enough, can't quite clear the zone though, Sharks under pressure here, Kirk, big shot from the point, straight into Hepburn's glove. Got to be better. <laughs> Shut off the back winner, 0-3-4-0. That's a shut off the back winner, 0-3-4-0. And the shut off the back winner, the team name is number 9-1-0.
Steel Dogs win the face off again there, and Haywood will fire from the point well wide of Hepburn's net, and will be picked up by Ash now for the Sharks. Seems to have been everywhere tonight. That's a good yeah. job by Kyle. Just getting the guy out of the way. Yeah, it does well there. The Sharks come forward. Ash now takes a bump. It's played across by the Steel Dogs man. They come forward and barrel. That's good play. Pick things off there. Just He's ready put game. some minutes in that kid. Yeah, Sharks will dump it in. Dumbarrel chase. Connor Henderson's there to help him out. Connor Henderson just working hard in the corner, putting his man under pressure, ties him up. And the Sharks do well. Connor Henderson, fantastic work. Shoot on that. Kel Vite shoots one from the point. Oh, it's a big unlucky. stick in front. Yeah, it's the Steel Dogs man. It's does well shot. to deflect it. Tell That's on net. Hepburn will stop it up, not cover it. Sharks will come at speed here. Kel Vite sees the open ice, fires a pass towards Lewis Young, can't quite control. Bit of a bobbly one, Caruth will pick it up for the Sharks. Nice move by Caruth on the outside, stops up, turns again, does well. Does Caruth under pressure from two men, just gets forced off it. And Struan Toner for the Sharks will head over, picks it up. It's forced out the zone, under pressure, but he finds Miguel. Miguel finds Pause. Young. Pause. Young dumps it in towards Caruth, Caruth will chase it. Boyd will pick it up and neutralise for the Sharks. Way. Boyd tries to play it through the legs. A move he probably would get away with last year, not at this level. Unfortunately for him, Miguel does well. Ties up the Steel Dogs stick. Dumps it the length of the ice and the Steel Dogs will have to play it. Caruth puts the defenceman under pressure but the Steel Dogs come away. Again, Struton will step up, plays the body. Takes the puck off the man and Lewis Young will pick it up. Lewis Young now finds Caruth, Caruth just plays it, gets tied up again, gets bumped as well, Miguel's there to help him out, it goes into neutralise, but it's only a white and orange jersey to pick it up, and Phillips battered hard at Callum Hepburn, high stick, not called, Kyle Caruth puts a hit in on the boards, does well, but it's a Steel Dogs man that comes away with the puck, but Sharks have it through Boyd, finds Caruth, Sharks on a two on two breakaway, Caruth looks for Boyd, Boyd can't quite get there. I think they need a change. Yeah, they've been on for a while. Lewis Young heads off. One change. Sharks under Good pressure job. now. Yeah, Nolan Gardner does well. Just yeah. ties up the man. Doesn't let, he, let him get his stick near it. And the Sharks clear as far as the blue line. But Morgan does well to keep it in. Fantastic control and nice hands from Ben Morgan. And the Steel Dogs keeping them in the zone there. Definitely showing that he's a bit of a two-way player, that guy then. Yeah, nice play. Kerr I think has mostly, it. Kerr American, loses an I? edge. Is he uh, American? Gardner, he's Canadian. He's Canadian. Yeah, and the Sharks come forward now. Scott Henderson, is it? No, it's Gardner. Massive shot from Gardner. Deflects high and wide. Scott Henderson will keep it in the zone under pressure. Keep it in. Stenton does well. Keeps in at the blue. Sends on, a ball for Boyd in front. Ah! Boyd's cross checked into the net. And they will go for a penalty. Kerr will fire it from the tight angle. Smith touches it up, but the Sharks go on the penalty. Um, power play there, the Steel Dogs are kind of looking and questioning why are we getting that penalty but I don't think they can argue it at all Boydie made a nuisance of themselves, headed hard to the front of the net and there is a big interference call pushes you know, pushes the, the forward into his own goalie, not the most sensible move He's saved a goal though, saved a goal though and I think, I think yeah. those little plays there, they're the difference, I mean you take that penalty all day, it's, I know it's a penalty in his morning but You know, if I'm supported or someone, someone does that my team, and you're not moaning. So Sharks head on to the man advantage again, Barry McKenzie in the face-off circle. Tied up. Sharks do well, he went at Dunbar, flicks out to Stenton, Stenton skates the sponsor's logo, jogs it to Dunbar, down low, Peacock back to Dunbar. Sharks just taking their time, setting it up, keep oh. it in the zone. Dunbar fires, that was very, and they've very got close. an opportunity, Stenton needs to be quick across and does well, does Stenton, ties it up and off, Barry McKenzie helping out, Steel Dogs keep it in the zone though, do well, John O'Phillips again just uses his experience, takes 10 seconds off the clock, drops back, dumps it the length of the ice, yeah, clever play there, you know, Sharks have plenty of space, McKenzie on this near side as we look, drops it back to Dunbar, Dunbar finds Peacock. <laughs> 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 
Mackenzie oh, just wide of the net. Stenton nearly. done well. Stenton just parks himself in front. Takes a few knocks in front of the net. Just tries to take the goal. His eyes, but Peacock still has it for the Sharks. One minute left. Yeah, only Come a minute on. of the penalty gone. Dunbar again. Back to Stenton. Feels like that was a long minute. Ah, Sharks just fire away from Stenton. Steel Dogs come away. Steel Dogs man takes the bump from John Dunbar. Goes down looking for the penalty. Doesn't get it. Stenton yeah, picking up for one. the Sharks. Man on. Under pressure. Stenton from Volkanovs. Dunbar comes forward now though. Does well. Rounds the man. Looks for the pass to Gardner in front. Gardner under pressure from Morgan. That's a massive slash there. And the Steel Dogs clear it and head for a line change. Sharks could go quick here with Beatty. Finds Boyd. Boyd gets a touch. Boyd didn't get a touch and nice and called. Please check your pockets for the chop the puck winner. It's 910. Check it number 910. Seven minutes left. Once again, another quick one. This period three is flown by. Also, congratulations to ticket number 0284 for the 50th birthday. Sharks do well to win the face off, only 10 seconds left on the man advantage. But they come forward through Beatty. Goes one way, then the other. And he neutralizes and will gain the zone. Does well to put around his man, Beatty, and still has it. He's behind the other net. Big hit up high. As the Steel Dogs come forward as they return to full strength, Boyd. Puts the man under pressure, makes him dump it in. Callum Hepburn just stops it up. Scott Henderson will pick it up for the Sharks. Under pressure, does well. He's stick though, and the Steel Dogs have it. Bissonette in front. Bissonette looks for the angle. Nice pass to the back door, and it's 3 0. Brownlee skating in at the back door. Second goal of the night. Once again, Richard, a small mistake there on the neutral ice, and it's punished from the Steel Dogs. Yeah. They, these things won't happen in a in a couple of weeks no time. I think that that's you need, you need to remember this is probably session five or six on the ice for the team yeah. first game it's a it's a big one and I mean obviously it would be nice to win but I don't think people are going to be naive enough to think they're going to just come out guns blazing like it's, it's a working process it will take time Steel Dogs win the face off and they flash it on next. Stu and Tony will pick it up for the Sharks. Callum McGill now. Kieran Hare does well, flicks it through. Neutral ice high. It's called for icing, but he definitely got a touch on that. And he's not too happy about it. Robin Elliott. Robin Elliott, I actually thought it was overruling the lines here and took, taking it to centre ice. I did, I did for a second. They, they kind of pointed at centre ice a few times, but no, it's the length of the ice. Just an unlucky bounce for the Sharks once again. That call against them as they go into the face-off circle. Lewis Young loses out on this one. Fired from the point, Hepburn does enough, keeps it out. Kind of whistles off his catch on his, his face cage, but Sharks come forward through Lewis Young. Lewis Young finds Struan Toner, oh, fires big, lucky big, big blocker save there from Crow. He's done well in the net so far. Sharks still have it, Lewis Young, Lewis Young now in front. Yes! yes! Lewis Young! Gives Sharks a goal back with six minutes and 11 seconds left to play in this club period. First what goal say, oh, in of this season. Line. That's what you needed. First goal of season 23-24 for the Solway Sharks goes to one of the semi-local lads, one of last year's boys. Does well, Lewis Young in front of the net. Fires it high over the shoulder. That, that is a great goal. That is an unbelievable Under goal. Under pressure, fantastic finish from Lewis Young and the Sharks have one back with That's six minutes, saying. 11 six, seconds. Six minutes is a long time when you've got a bit of intensity going. Six minutes is a long time in a game of ice hockey, absolutely. And the Sharks have one back. Sharks win the face off through Peacock. Kerr has it through neutralised. Tipped in actually off a of Phillips escape. And Sharks. Sharks through Peacock. Peacock now finds the bar in front. Tries Let's to go, go fancy on. through the legs. Nothing to lose now. Just yeah. There you go, Barry. Sharks putting body on, but it's oh, Phillips no. at the other end. Phillips wide off Hetmon's net. But Hetmon maybe got that. a wee touch on that one. 
But it's the Steel Dogs still have it in front of the net. Stanton does well, stands his man up, just on, pushes then. him off the puck. Peacock Solid puts ben a Morgan. Wee, wee bump in. Morgan does enough and just plays it round the board. Just doing what Ben Morgan does, really, he's, isn't he? He's solid, mate. He's Fires solid. on net, touch in front, somebody needs to move him. As the Sharks lose an edge, it whistles wide off Hetland's post and the Sharks come forward. Nice touch by Peacock, not enough to get through the legs, but the Sharks will come forward through Stanton. John Dunbar looks in front oh. for Peacock. Dunbar will get on the wound at the end of his own pass here. Dunbar circles. Fires it through bodies. It's blocked in front and the Steel Dogs dump it high man here. Look at this. Touch but can't control. And the Sharks come forward. Oh, Dunbar. Okay. Good play. Good play by Bissonette in the centre of the ice. Stenton just about does it enough but it's fired high. Good. Good goal there. No stopping that one. High over Hepburn. Good finish. Good goal. Unfortunately. Yeah, very good finish there. Just too much time. Too much time in front to pick his spot. And just the Sharks get one back. The Steel does answer back pretty quickly. Sharks win the face off in the circle and it's all Olivier Arsh now that comes round his own neck, does well, skates through. Goes round one man, round two, gains his own pretty quickly, looks for the pass. Backhand, Gardiner in front. Oh, oh another save. massive save. Scott Henderson through bodies, massive cross check in front of the net there, but it's held on to by Crow. What a save. Yeah, another big play. He's very much stood in his head tonight. Crow showed why he's probably starting in front of. As yeah, a Modra tonight, actually. It's not often I've not heard of him. Yeah, goal, big, big goal at MK last year, I think. A bit of GB under 20 experience. I was going to say, he must be young. Yeah. That's why I've never heard of him, because I'm old. It's MK Lightning last year, so a bit of the National League level there. Dropped down. Uh, well, dropped into Sheffield, sorry. Sharks in front, Boyd just blocked in front. Lots of bodies round about, and the Steel Dogs come forward now. Two on one again, Sharks just backstop enough. Tied up, Gardner bumps his man down to the ice in the far corner. Tied up, Scott Henderson has it. Gardner and Arsenal now there help each other out. And the Sharks come forward, nice move. Boyd has it. Boyd looks for the pass towards Beatty. Beatty, nice play towards Scott Henderson, just not quite in his teeth. It's on his skate. We've not been good enough in the neutral zone today. Yeah, skate. Hits his skate and can't control. And the Steel Dogs come forward just under four minutes left to go in this one. Well done, gloved down by Ross Murray. He'll try and gain the zone, but his touch is just too far in front of him. Steel Dogs come forward now. They've got lots of space on the outside. Shot wide off Hepburn's net. Ross Murray will work hard, tries to get there first. Big hit, peanut. Nah, just not quite. Puts a wee bit of pressure on, though, but the Steel Dogs, they just find their way out pretty easily. Struan Tone will pick it up, flash it behind the goal to Miguel. Miguel finds Murray. Murray dumps it cross eye. Sharks head off for a change. Steel Dogs are getting called for too many here, Richard. There's six men on the ice here. They've done well there. I've not seen yeah, that, did you? Two, four, six. or six still on just now. Because uh, the, re the referee stopped them just so, just so that you know, look how many he's are on. Yeah, good spot there by, I think, Mark Alexander on the line. They suck by number 98, Tate Shudra, two minutes, too many men. So the Sharks calling a wee time out here, I think, by the looks of things. Yeah, Martin has his crayons out and he's drawn up a wee plan. As part of this kind of time out, Richard, what's the kind of 30 seconds? What's the kind of chat? What's the. I think he just spoke and said what he's going to tell, maybe sneak a little play or something. But it's, it's more to just give you guys, you know, you've got the power play, just give him a little bit of a breather. Just as much as anything, I mean, it's still come right to the player, but it, it, they, if they win the face off, it means please, nothing. Yeah, eh? please go on, yeah. But, um, well, obviously, you can regroup and go again, but I think it's more just give yourselves a bit of a breather, especially you've got your big boys on now, your big guns, so. Yeah, absolutely, for the Sharks, it is. Craig Peacock going to be centering John Dunbar and Barry, no, sorry, looks like McKenzie going in for the face off, so it's McGat. 
Mackenzie Centre and Dunbar and Peacock, Stenton and Kerr. A very familiar line for Sharks fans in the D zone. 3.17 to go, two minutes or less on the man advantage for the Sharks. Mackenzie does well to win it and finds Stenton, Skenton skates the advertising Warrior logo just in front of the blue and now has it in front of the Steel Dogs bench. Plays it down low to Kerr, Kerr will just skate back up, Dunbar's just floating about the blue line here. Peacock sees him, finds him. Dunbar looks to play a move, just drops it back off to Peacock, Stenton will fire through bodies, deflected wide, Mackenzie gets there first, it's stopped in front, the goal is stretched out as low. I don't know what height he is, but he had to use all his height there to get on the end of that. Morgan was kind of flicking away and just actually knocked it away from him a wee bit more. Martin Grubb, just a quick wee word to Liam Stenton from the bench there as well. Maybe yeah, a, you know, they're definitely working on something. That's maybe part of the plan there. Executed, hopefully the next time it's the puck into the back of the net. And the Sharks win it again through Mackenzie to Kerr. Kerr to like Dunbar. God. I'd have liked to see him that new import D on there. He's, he's impressed me with his hockey brain. I think him up top could. Yeah, he's read the game very well. Yeah, I mean, that's that's no disrespect to either of the other two D on. I just think he'd be my goal to here. Kerr drops it off to Peacock, who drops it back to Dunbar. And Dunbar will play it down low back to Kerr, back to Peacock, far side wall. Peacock controls, drops it off, turns his man, but he's put instantly under pressure. Mackenzie will bump in there, but the Steel Dogs do enough to clear it. Hepburn will come out and play that one. It's at the Steel Dogs' head for a whole line change. Calm Hepburn can move it quick here. Finds Dunbar, but the Sharks are also heading for a one-man change. Kel Beatty through the middle is picked off well by Kirk, and Kirk will come forward now. Sharks swarm. He just gains the red, dumps it high. Two minutes left to go in the game. 40 seconds in the man advantage for the Solly Sharks on the power play here. Looks for the pass to Beatty. Beatty dumps in, rounds his man. It'll not get there. Kirk will get there first for the Steel Dogs. Plays it round. Gardner takes enough off it. Scott Henderson will pick it up. Arson is now on the, the ice. Um, Richard, who you want to see on? Yeah. Here he comes now. Hepburn paddles it away. Oliver tells him, just leave it. I'll get it from there. And here he I goes. I think we just look a bit anxious on the PP at the minute. Through neutralised. Takes a hack, does well, actually, to stay on his feet. But the Steel Dogs come away under pressure. Levine also still has it, finds Gardner in front, uh, behind the net, plays it in front towards Scott Henderson, who Scott Henderson takes a skate, a, a stick between his skates, is knocked to the ground, but the Sharks still have it, Kel Beatty on the blue, fires it, Henderson flicks it round, minute and four seconds left, 4-1 to the Steel Dogs here at the Defeat Ice Bowl, Good play. Steel Dogs come forward now, offside, Shudra not quite in control, they're pucking up there to get the, the, the you know, continue with the play. 55 seconds left to go, I think maybe not a rude awakening is the wrong way he probably word it, Richard, but a bit of a... I think I think it's just a learning process, this. I mean... Pre the boys, big, the yeah. biggest part of pre-season is getting minutes in the legs and it's nice it to is. win. And and just, just getting the legs going, I mean, some people need to... I know this is talking way out there, but you're wearing new equipment, you're wearing new everything, like... Yeah, new skates, new yeah, sticks for a lot of the boys. Stuff takes gloves, a little bit of time. Yeah. But there's, there's definitely a lot of good stuff we've seen. Steel Dogs have it behind their own net, they come forward, there's a big hit there into the board by Miguel, plays the body well, as does Carruth, Carruth done well there and neutralised, just bumped him, Turner it is, into, into the, the attacking zone before the puck done well. And with 26 seconds and a wee bit of loose change, to go in this game, Richard, I'm going to ask you as our guest on Solo Sharks TV for yeah. our first ever live stream. Who would your Steel Dogs and Solo Sharks man of the matches be tonight? I think I'd have to go Boyd tonight. I know that's pretty obvious from what I've, the way I've been talking, but 
Boyd is really impressed me tonight. I mean, he's showing that Chance hunger. Chance forward, Connor Henderson. He's in front. There's a crash on the net. Boyd has had a good game. Kells had a good game. I'd like to see a little bit more from certain players, but it's one of them things, eh? You can't do it every night. Yeah, I think Boyd, Boyd has had a good game. He's almost... I think it has been a one of them. I've put himself in the short window of... Lewis has had a great game as well. I'm not just saying that because he scored a goal, just... Yeah. Everything Boyd. he's done so far, he's got a big season ahead of him. Yeah, Boyd maybe just putting himself in the short window if a body's yeah. missing, I'm here. Just being Boyd. Eh? Yeah, I'm the one to take it up and I there know... There you go, look. The Sharps have it, two seconds left to go. Connor Henderson's up against the boards. Oh, there we go, as the buzzer sounds, Boyd is in there. Oh, there's quite a lot of steel dogs jumping on one player. There's punches coming in from the side. Keep this, yeah, this doesn't look too tasty. There's a young man with a cage throwing punches. Connor Henderson's thrown to the ice. There's a lot of steel dogs' bodies on Callum Boyd there. Stuart Kerr's trying to drag somebody off of Connor Henderson. A not not very tasty end to this match as it rolls over on to tomorrow night and I'm sure some penalties to come as the game finishes who's this, you know, get what off of Connor here? Henderson absolute clown A bit of a sour note to the end of the game, really, because it's pre-season and these guys have got to all go and do it all again tomorrow. I imagine some penalties to come at the end of the period here, um, and if we can find them out, we will let you know. But there's definitely got to be a few calls in there. I mean, the guy who's got in on by this, it's not even him who's from the punch, there's about three other guys who've tried jumping in. Yeah, there's, there's not a third man in, there's a fourth man in, maybe even a fifth man in there, not... Leaves a bit of a sour taste in the, in the mouth of what has been, even though Sharks on the losing side tonight, uh, a well contested first pre season game. I mean, it all came from that big hit that Boydie put in the corner. Yeah, Boydie put a hat, he didn't like it. Uh, Lewis Bell didn't like that, but if they'd have squared off, Boydie would have levered him. Cheap play, cheap play. Yeah, very cheap, I'm especially not, when you've got three or four bodies in there I'm, on one I'm player. Not, I'm not surprised. And I don't know who the youngster is in the cage throwing punches when he's down on the ice. You I've, know, I've seen, grow it up. From, I've seen it my entire career by these boys. It's, it's all cheap. Obviously, they've got some boys who go like properly, but that's just cheap. Yeah, do you know, if you're going to do it, do it properly tomorrow. Yeah, that's cheap. Yeah, let's do it properly tomorrow. Let's not have the, the cheap rubbish. Oh, I love that. Uh, as Bradley joins us up on the commentary grant gantry here. He's saying hello, Brad. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh. <laughs> Did you well, enjoy it? No, you can't touch that. Don't touch that. Shots on goal at the end of the game, just updated on the board. 24 shots on the Solway Sharks. 34. 38, sorry, on the Sheffield Steel Dogs. Kind of sums up how the game went. The Solway Sharks were probably the better team over the, the course of the, the 60 minutes. But it's not who was the better team. It was the scoreline that matters. But of course, it is pre-season. It's all about getting minutes in the legs tonight for, the, for both teams. We will stay on until the man of the match presentations have been done and then hopefully we'll get a wee bit of post-match reaction from both sides. Yeah, I'm going to go for, I'm going to try and predict one here. I'm going to go Boyd for us, either Boyd or Lewis Young will get it. And for them, I think Cam Brownlee will get it. Cam's one of those players, he's, he's so sneaky, he's a fantastic player, but he just pops up, he's absolutely rapid and he just... Yeah, finished the game with a couple of yeah, goals. He yeah, he knows where the net is. He won't be one of these players who will be on mega money or anything like that, but he's, he's a local boy and he, he can play. Great player.
<laughs> hello, Bradley. Hello. Nice of you to join us. Say hello. Okay, I'm definitely now joined by by Bradley on commentary. He's saying hello, hello Bradley. Hello. That's it, pal. Hello. A, a star, a star of Solar Sharks TV future. There we go. Look, you can hold the clipboard of the teams. Eh? A star of the future. Man of the match is coming up. Sheffield, of course, first. Oh, the goalie, the goalie are going to Number 20, Jonathan It goes to number 20, oh, Jonathan Phillips. Well. Not sure about that one. Played well, obviously, but yeah, did, nothing stand out. Did play well and just read the game, as you would expect yeah, from a guy that's got, that's got 20 plus years hockey experience and has been dining at the top table for as long. It's a long season though. It is, it's a long season and it's an even longer season with so many games to come. Again, more minutes in the legs tonight, tomorrow and next weekend as we say bye to our visitors from the Sheffield Steel Dogs. We will see them again tomorrow night down at Ice Sheffield, 7.30 face-off. As the Sharks. As we present shot off the back first, as is always the case. Barry McKenzie's shot tonight going to the lucky winner. Solve the Sharks gets the first goal. Okay, first goal of this new Solve the Sharks campaign and well deserved man of the match. Put the work in. And he's presented by man of, presented his like man of the match there. award by Finn hey, the Shark. And from us here at the Free Ice Bowl, this has been Solve the Sharks TV after a 4-1 victory for the Sheffield Steel Dogs over the Hercules Spo uh, Ice Hockey Apparel sponsored Solway Sharks join us again next run. time um, Richard thank you very much very for being on um, it's been a pleasure we'll see you all next time on Sharks TV join us through the week we will hopefully have some post-match reaction and interviews and we will see you all again soon Thank you.